Okay, now next question. Let's see that next question. Uh, the mean of an observation. The mean of an observations. is x bar if the first term is increased by 1 comma second by 2 and so on. Then the new mean is then the new mean is option A x bar plus n option B x bar plus n by 2 and option C x bar plus n plus 1 by 2 and option D x bar plus n minus 1 by 2 so these are the options so first try to understand the question uh, the mean of n observations we are having n observations and their mean is given x bar right so what we are doing we are increasing the values okay if the first term is increased by 1 whatever the first term was there we are increasing it by 1 and the second term by 2 and the third term by 3 like this like this we are increasing every terms so what will be the new mean ok so let's uh, understand this solution so suppose we are uh, assuming the observation led the observations are are x1 comma x2 comma x3 dot 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 till xn okay these are the number of observations and their mean is given mean is equals to x bar now what we are doing we are adding these terms so according to question new observation will be x1 plus 1 and x2 plus 2 like this x3 plus 3 dot 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 xn plus n ok these are the new observations so we have to find the new mean so what will be the new mean so we know the yes exactly option c is correct ok so we are finding this how it came ok so new mean so we know the formula of mean sum of observations divided by number of observations so here these are the observation new one ok so we are adding all these x1 plus 1 plus x2 plus 2 plus x3 plus 3 plus dot 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 xn plus n and whole divided by n ok right so now we will uh, separate these x1 plus x2 is going till xn and we can divide this by n plus 1 plus 2 plus this is going till n we can divide it by n ok because when we take the LCM the same term will come out so we know these two terms separately this is what this is actually the mean given what is the mean this is x bar so we put it here x bar plus this is the sum of uh, the mean of natural numbers that we have already calculated in question number 3 what was that n plus 1 by 2 ok so this is the final answer so this is the option c right 
So you can note down this solution. We will move to next question. Okay, so this is the next question. If the mean of the following distribution is 2.6, then the value of y is, these are the distribution given, the variables are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and frequencies are 4, 5, y, 1, comma 2. So we have to find the value of this y. Okay, so oh, mean is given 2.6. So what you will do for that? Yes, what is the formula of mean? Yes. Sigma xi. Fi xi. Fi. Okay, this is the this is known as the direct method that we already discussed to find the mean of these values. Okay. So x is given, f is given. So we need uh, one more row here in which we are finding f x. Okay, so 144 to 510, it will be 3y410. This is a simple question. Okay, so now just only put these values into the formula and you will find the answer. So x bar is given 2.6 here. Okay, summation of fi xi, you have to sum these all terms. So it will be 4 plus 10 plus 3y plus 4 plus 10, right divided by the sum of fi so this will be 4 plus 5 plus y this like you will sum this 4 plus 5 plus y plus 1 plus 2 so this uh, 2.6 equals 2 we can add this it will be 28 huh? okay we will check this 28 plus 3 y and here it will be 4, 1, 5, 5, 10, 12, 12 plus y, okay, so now cross multiply, multiply this uh, with this, so we will get it 12 into 2.6, what will become?
31.2 so it will be 31.2 plus 2.6 y is equals to 28 plus 3 y okay so now we can solve this for this so we can write it 3 y minus 2.6 y okay and it will be uh, 31.2 minus 28 so what will come 10 minus 6 is 4 and this is 0.4 y and this will be 2 here and 3.2 okay now y is equals to 3.2 by 0 0.4 point this will cancel and directly y is equals to 8 so it is there in the option which option I have not given so 8 will be the answer so I am writing the options also in the question options are option A is your 3, option B is your 8, C is uh, 13 and then 24. So the answer is B, 8. Okay. So note down this solution. Then, then we will move to next question. Okay, done this. Is there any confusion? Okay, good. Okay, so uh, let's see next question. If the median of the data, if the median of the data data is given a uh, six comma seven comma x minus two x comma seventeen and then twenty. So if the median of the data written in ascending order written in ascending order is 16 then x is then x is option a 15 option b 16 17 18 18. Okay, so this is the question. Ah, this is already in the ascending order. If the median of the data, this is the data given that is already in the ascending order, is 16. So median is given here 16, right? So you have to find the value of this x. So what you have to do here? Okay, okay, I'm giving time. You can do it. If you are unable to do, then I will help you. Eighteen. How? Calculate it properly. Okay, then tell. Fifteen. Fifteen. Two different answers are coming. So let's see the third one. What answer will come here? Sending order. So how we calculate the median? 
these are the simple one two three four five six six terms are even terms are there okay so we know that when there are even terms so the median is the average of the central terms okay so these are two central terms only so the median will be the average of these two so we know that median is equals to sum of these two term x minus 2 plus x and divided by 2 this is given a uh, 16 then x plus x 2x minus 2 by 2 so 32 is equals to 2x minus 2 right this 2 come here 32 plus 2 2x so this is 34 by 2 is equals to x so it will be 17 who given this answer nobody you are telling 15 and you are telling 18 what mistake you did uh, this, this things only you have subtracted this right so the correct answer is c1 17 okay just note it down then we'll do some more questions then okay. uh, next question if the mean Six comma seven comma x comma eight comma y comma uh, fourteen is nine. Then part A x plus y is equals to twenty one and uh, x plus y is equals to nineteen C part x minus y is equals to 19 and uh, d part is x minus y equals to 21 so tell this if the mean of uh, this data is given 6 comma 7 comma x comma 8 and y 8 y and 14 is 9 then you have to see that which of the following uh, equation is correct for this huh? B. Okay, let's see. Very simple question. Okay. 